Something on your mind? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. Exactly. That's what makes them fun. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. Sure do. Some of it was even legal. What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Gotta figure out how to work that into my aesthetic. Maybe a pair of earrings? I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. No complaints here. Good to see you, boss. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. That's what they called us. Orphans with no family, no company to take us in, nowhere to go but the back bays. The word's a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the Groundbreaker. Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You want to try it? Yeah, I mean, in theory. But I wouldn't have felt half as good. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks. 
waiting for the day my ship arrives. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Captain, can I get your temperature on something real quick? What? No. If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. Oh, Law, that's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just... Couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... Who's Isabel? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we... Maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready.
purpleberry fudge. A soft flower, candy smell, scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested negative for performance-enhancing stamina. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and feeling my heart shake. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good, I bet. Bottoms up. Beer, huh? Good choice, if you want to get unsober in a hurry. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Huh. Yeah, I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about Jun Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automech with a busted nav chip. You want to know what I think? I think you should write what you want to say down in your hand. Always work for me. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now, before I lose my nerve. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? There's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? What do you mean, Captain? So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. Worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. 
So much to think about. Oh gosh, I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. This man, report offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers you. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Well, yeah. The comm center routes all messages within, to, and from the Groundbreaker. We also switchboard most of the message traffic throughout the Halcyon system. Of course, we're about to go dead, so I may be reappropriated to Architect Knows Where doing Law Knows What soon enough. Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. For months? Groundbreaker's gotta have some type of fallback, right? We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the Groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the Fritz. That they can and they do, but only between ships owned by the same corporation. No corp will authorize sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. And no corp will relay messages for the Wildcat freighters, not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. That's why we're the message hub the Groundbreaker is neither corporate-owned nor board-controlled. Our comms are neutral. Sure, I mean, they got their own relays and all, but they'll only send along messages the corporations pay for. And then they charge folks to send messages back, often more than they can afford. And none of that money goes to the Groundbreaker. Just tightens the board's grip on our throat. You tell him, boss. Simmer down, Felix. See, now you got the boy all riled. Maybe they're good to their people, I can't rightly say. But they're no good for us, not for Groundbreaker. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. 
But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. In the distant future. Anyway. I messaged Jun Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. I've ruined things in the past, because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. But anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain.
I'll admit, the station's in better shape than I expected it to be. Captain, this place is supposed to be empty, yeah? Because I got the queerest feeling. I'll keep my head down.
do that. Smells like old blood. Destination reached, the groundbreaker.
Heard from the lasses down on 22 that you did a contract for Sublight. Only one, a legit haul. Smashed up a freighter out in the Charybdis belt. You ever stop to wonder how it got smashed up? Asking questions is a good way to forfeit my bonus. Some things ain't worth knowing. on news. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the danger? My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. Look who it is. What'll it be? Have you seen this man? Get cooler in here? I swear they had the heat turned way the hell up. We'll talk later. Got a bit of a sore throat from all that fake coughing. Uh, hello. Jun Lei called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now, is there something I can help you with? A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck, and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station.
Is it just me, or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Oh, it's Martin. Hey, Martin. Still wearing the hat? How observant. I'm authorized to state that this uniform is more than headgear. It's a state of mind, and our customers know the difference. Uh, have a look. CNP near maple syrup. It's near this complete breakfast. You shipping out against them? Maybe. Captain's trying to nail down a contract now. Nice. Where you headed? Not supposed to say. These days, info on freight schedules are worth near as much as the freight. Hey, man. I'm no pirate. Just interested in your life or whatever. Yeah, but can you say that about everybody else who might be in earshot? Sublight puts the organized in organized crime. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to use that slogan. You reckon we can shop here, or is it all spoke for? Salvage is a family business. We've got each other's backs. Miss Lilia takes good care of us, see? The authorities stay off our tails. Got any leads on salvage? It doesn't even have to be broke yet. We'll take anything. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia.
Got any leads on salvage? Doesn't even have to be broke yet. We'll take anything. Sublight for life. The corporation's never lifted a finger for me. Sublight for life. Corporations never lifted a finger for me. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings, but... There's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. Thank you. I work hard to keep it that way. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids, in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon, but I'll settle for being the most organized one. Ask. I have nothing to hide. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. 